Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I caught two golems and a Raichu off camera. You know where they are in this area as in the last part. Just to kind of bolster my resources. So let's now go through this door. And... <sighs> you feel the music? Do you feel the tension in the air? Check this place out. This is the big bad tippy top area. Look at that, you can see the whole clouds, lines, and whatever you want to call them, and you, <laughs> you can't go up certain stairs wherever they're broke, as you probably noticed from the early area that I didn't even bother taking, but whatever, whatever. There's also a save point here, which is probably never a good sign of things to come, because it might be something really difficult coming up, but anyway, I'm just kind of chatting it up while I'm showing you the area here. Because not a lot of people really take a look around and see the sights, do they? <laughs> and there we go, you've seen all the sights. Let's go up. We got a bunch of Lainu in here coming up by this top rank gun grunt. Let's do it. Uh, <laughs> hungry, not hungry, and angry. Well, I think you'd learn that there's more if you were nicer to Pokemon, but well, probably shouldn't even bother reasoning with them. Wow, you guys are. Ooh, uh, speedy Gonzalez, oh jeez. Ah, we need to get yee, some opportunity to circle four times, or wait, five times actually. And, ah, stay still, you stinkers. I am. <laughs> I just went completely out of my circle. Ah, yee, ah, mm, just, ah, <laughs> so hyper. So fluffy! <laughs> Stop it! Okay, I got one. <laughs> that should make things a whole lot easier. And they just have to separate a little bit here. That'll. Oop! Oh, I was gonna say that'll do. Uh, 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 just see a little. Oh, well. Mm, oh, oh, mm. <laughs> it's just so unpredictable. So unpredictable. But possible. That's all I need to know in order for me to try and do something. <laughs> Ah, so close. I should probably use the power of plus O, but eh, whatever. I'm okay. <laughs> We're alright. We're doing okay. Ooh. Close. Close. Okay, you just do a little... Uh, maybe I could have... Maybe you had enough opportunity to circle him five more times there with how long he was staying in place, but whatever. Whatever, victory is mine, and we're done. There they go. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is true. I mean, that is the whole idea of the stylers that we have, after all. Wait, do you have anything? Uh, I didn't think you had anything new to say. That's okay with me. All right. Oh, Johto starter mid-range Pokemon. Is that so? Well... Demonstrate, do your best. Let's see. Can I capture them? Eventually, probably. Although they do have a lot of wide ranging attacks. <laughs> oh, okay, I think Quilava will be the easiest of the three due to how. Oh, or, well, actually, Krakona might uh, have some potential for some quick circling victories. Well, whichever one, I guess. I just gotta let my eyes skim around the whole screen and hope for the best. I could do a discharge too, but I won't do that until I'm stuck. <laughs> I just that's what I usually do is I wait to see if I can do this and see how long it takes and then discharge if need be. Oh, ooh, actually. Oh wait, wait, hold on a sec. This looks good, yes. Cause Kulava went off the top of the screen. Uh, Bayleaf was distracted, and I was just kind of fluttering around that Quilava. I just gotta find the right. Oh, gotta find the right spot for it though. I tried to circle in between the two. Up oh, there we go. All right, now for that Bayleaf. Only eleven circles to victory. Woohoo! And that went pretty smoothly. Smoother than the Linoons, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really? 
Uh, maybe he probably m might not once he hears about them blowing up the base, but you know what? You probably should just quit. I mean, these Gorok squad kind of sucks. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. And anyway, moving on with the groove on. Oh, this might be a tough one. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I will take that as a compliment. <laughs> Oh, I'm not gonna surrender. I've got a Raichu, and I've got a pretty much unlimited determination, knowing that I will be able to pull this off eventually. So let's do this. Uh, oh, how many circles? Holy jeez! 17 for Blastoise. How many for Blaziken? Okay, 8 for Blaziken. That seems more plausible. Oh! Of course you're gonna do that. I like how it moves back from its own hydro pumps. Ah, this one's actually gonna be a very long time before I get a good opportunity, isn't it? So I'm gonna do this and focus on Blaziken first, and then let's try Blastoise because it should be stunned longer, and yes, it should be stunned longer because it's a water type. And you know, water type, electric Pokemon beats water type. Yes, yes. Blastoise is a new one! Woo! And there they go. <laughs> well, because they are awesome. No, they are not. They are friends that you want to fluffy. I mean, they're all fluffy and you want to pet them. Yes. What? What? Uh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All right. So here is the point. I guess you could say we'll get a notification that we're going to be going up to the final boss here. These stairs will take us to the Temple Summit. We finally cornered Gordor, the Gorok Squad's boss. Are you ready for this? Well, I am not, because I would like... <laughs> because I would like to first recharge my stuff, as well as switch off my party a little bit. So... I'm gonna see you back at the bottom of the temple when I go do some more preparations. Sound good? Good. Alright, the first one that I'm gonna grab is Jolteon over here, just because it's another charging type Pokemon, you know, that you can use to charge your Styler. So, that plus Raichu should give me enough health for ooh, the remaining battles of Doom. Well, ah, unless I use up all my health here and then I have to. You son of a. <laughs> Aw, why am I having so much difficulty with Jolteon when it went so easy the first time? Mm, mm. But yeah, I'll, I'll eventually get it, I assure you. <laughs> there we go, I used the levitate power of the Espeon. Now I'm gonna go flutter back around this away. Not for the Aerodactyl, but for the other Raichu, if you don't mind. And I probably should show you a Dark Poke Assist as well, because I never showed you one of those, because Dark Pokemon have been so far and few. So basically, see this? See this? You can trade health for the power to increase your line. So you could basically... Well, wa watch this. You can circle around the whole, s <laughs> the whole screen now if you'd like to, and basically capture anything with relative ease, unless they kind of go off the screen or anything like that. So a dark Pokemon power is pretty powerful, but but you can only use it that once, and watch your Styler's energy too. <laughs> So now I'm gonna go flip-flop around, grab the Raichu, use the Raichu to recover my Styler, and then um, go up to the top of the screen, reset the room, grab the Raichu again, and then I should be ready for the final battle. Sound good? Good. <laughs> oh yes, I saved my game too. <laughs> Alright, this I do think is... All need for the final bosses. Take note of the team I got. Remember to get the Metacham back over inside the cave, you know, in the middle of the ruins and whatnot, uh, for that double line power. But save it for the last. Um, the Golems and the Donphan are ground types. 
useful. It's for certain elemental types, which will come in handy. One of them is a water type, which I can use the power of, you know, the discharge for. And the Jolteon and Raichus are for the recharging in case it needs to happen. So you're ready? I am ready. Let's do it. The tippy top of the Fury item. Oh, he's got all three! <laughs> See, dumb fuck about a sight of these legendary Pokemon. I was when I first played this. I was not expecting that. <laughs> but also, um, I do have to wonder though, like, people who haven't played other Pokemon games, do they recognize these two as being legendary? Because I don't think they were mentioned until up to this point. Entei was for sure, yeah, yeah, but. Not these two, but anyway, these are the Johto roaming legendaries of Gen 2. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, it's it's okay. I, I, I mean, what? You're gonna invite me? Well, I could, I'm okay. <laughs> well, I'm here now, and I'm gonna crash this party. That was a terrible line. <laughs> All right, I'll take you on. So that's your super styler, huh? huh? It certainly doesn't look like. Uh, it's very portable, but whatever. <laughs> How do you expect to use this around the world? Hmm. Yes, yes, I had a feeling that's what it was. Uh. Hmm. But what about my partner Pokemon, you know, Plusle and his Minun? Oh, oh. They almost destroyed my cursor. I had to take it off screen. Okay. <sighs> oh, jeez. Rainstorms, thunderstorms, and firestorms. What? Why would you want to do that? Uh, it, it probably will be. In all honesty, people will call for us. Uh, what? 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 Why would you start a calamity just to stop it? That seems. Oh, I see. You're jealous of the Rangers. Well, that explains a lot. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to rejoice in anything, you stinker. <laughs> yeah, you tell them. No way are we going to let that happen. Oh, I'll, oh, I can... Don't, don't sound so confident here. I've got a full team stacked over here. <laughs> as well as full health and my game saved. I have nothing to fear. <laughs> well, that's rude. Yeah, you tell him, Plusle and Minun. No way. I, I fact, that is going to be very useful against Soikun. <laughs> Alright, do your worst. Raikou is up. And this is where the ground Pokemon come in. Well, ground Pokemon for Raikou and or Entei. Yeah, I'm sure I could pull this off. Here we go, the final battle has begun. And we got special music going on, and it brings thunder from the heavens, which pretty much fills up the entire screen, which is useless, impossible to circle areas. Which is why, wait, actually, there's fourth thunderbolt coming down in just a minute here. Wait, was that the fourth that he's seen? Uh, well, wait, once they clear, I would like to use. Eh, I'll use Don Fan first, I guess. I have a plan, and I am, whoop, and I am gonna stick to it. Oh, you had to drop the thunder right there. Are you serious? <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Whoop, 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 whoop. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, I win. <laughs> That's one down. Two to go. Woo! But the last one is the one that I'm most worried about, like, through the entire playthrough. That's why, I'm, that's why I came so well prepared, but I do have a strategy for it like I had with Steelix, and it doesn't necessarily involve my ground Pokemon. You know, well, I should say ground rock. Oh, that was not luck, I assure you. I've played this game a bunch of times before. <laughs> All right, so he coons up, and here we go. No, 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 it is not going to be blamed. I'll be able to stop him with no problem. And this is where I can discharge, but first I'll just let it do its thing. Yeah, it's gonna gonna do that, it's gonna shoot beams. I just wanna get the real one here. It's, it's so, sort of like Gengar in a way, in that you wanna get rid of the copies, and then do your thing with whatever you wanna do with it. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't go off the screen. 
Oh, you have to go to the side of the screen. Well, oh, wait, wait a second. That worked! <laughs> okay! I guess I can sneak the Snyler just right beside it. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> so yeah, those multi-images are apparently due to its speed. Bwah, and, and well, it's, it's, its appearance is apparently due to that, but I kind of find that hard to believe because it certainly does seem like it stays in place every so often. Anyway, there we go. Two down, one to go, and this is the one that I'm worried about. <laughs> I don't think it's futile. They wouldn't make a game that's impossible to beat. Well, except maybe Cheetah Man 2, or, or was it the first Cheetah Man? I forgot. I think it was the... Now, nah, one of those two is impossible to complete. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> So, he says the most reliable lot is Entei, but uh, we kind of caught that one before. <laughs> so, it's still possible. Let's just put it that way. Don't worry. Aha. I think mine on Implusle. Oh! You hear that? <laughs> the, the sounds. <laughs> And you call them useless? Yeah, I bet you're eating your words now, because you got the red screen of death there. <laughs> and... That's the sound of a styler when it pop, uh, when it bursts, by the way. You know, when it breaks. And... Well, that's not good. We don't have the styler to keep it under control. Oh, that's not good! Good. Uh, not really, no, you kind of forced it. Oh my, he's getting his hair singed. All right, here we go, final battle. <sighs> this is it. Stretch your wrists. Prepare your circles. This is all. And so it starts out with this flame body type thing. And we gotta get rid of those flames by circling it, because it won't be able to start actually doing its thing until those circles are- uh, until those cir circles of flames are off its body. And those flames have an oddly large range, especially especially when combined with those pillars of fire. Ah! Only four more to go. I can do this. And I'm also trying to charge up my discharge as well, which I'll be able to do much easier once I get the rest of the flames off of Entei. Oh, there we go. Now we are entering the next phase of the battle, and this is the one that I was mainly worried about here. Now, this is, the, flames are, the flames are in a good position, but the thing is, is that I've got to charge up my Styler in order to pull this off. Uh, and it's kind of kind of tricky to do this when it's flaming everywhere, but this is the opportunity to do so. Like, you see the flame pillars all along the sides of the screen now instead of the usual center and top, bottom, wherever. Well, that's because this is the second uh, second and final phase of the battle. So, yup, yup. Ah, poopers, I came too close to the base of it. Yeah, like, the tops of the fire don't hurt it. It's the base of the fire that you gotta look out for. Uh, I just want those uh, fire to go. Alright, fine, I'll recharge myself. Uh, I'll, I'll use Raichu, actually. But yeah, all I'm trying to do here is get my Styler charged up, and it's, I'm having difficulties finding the right spot because I want because eventually there's going to be a point where there's going to be no fire around the screen, and I'll just be able to kind of infinite loop circle. Oh, this is it right here! Watch us, watch us! I can infinite loop circle and charge my Styler for a discharge. This is my strategy here. As long as I get him in this loop. I basically cannot lose as long as I pull off the final move right. So I'm gonna get this charge up to the max. Don't let him get a flamethrower off, otherwise you're gonna take damage and the cycle's gonna re ah, and the cycle's gonna start again. Okay, it didn't start again. I got lucky there because usually the flame pillars pop out there. Almost there to the top. I just want to maximize all the time that I have here with my discharge. There we go. And now it's gonna stick in place. I like that place because I got used to the circling, I'm discharging, and wish me luck. Yeah! Victory is mine! <laughs> oh, that went a lot better than I thought it would. Uh.
Where's Gordor? <laughs> Just arrest that guy already. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's, that is what Rangers would do. I mean, we can't just let them get blown away to pieces. <sighs> that was a heck of a series of battles. Ooh, okay. Don't make me capture you again. <laughs> nah, they're okay now. They're all calmed down. Oh, no, what? Yeah, that's true. I, I, that's what I've been saying the whole time. Yes. What? What the? Now you tell me after the entire game has passed? <sighs> Calm yourself, PKM. Calm yourself. Okay. I'm composed. <sighs> Not that composed. Okay. <sighs> We're okay. We made it. <laughs> And I did that a lot better than I thought I would with the Pokemon that I had here. I, I didn't even need the Metacham there. I was thinking of combining that with the Discharge like I did on Steelix, but I just thought I would try it like that at first because I could still do that infinite loop thing. But anyway. Yeah, it was good times. <laughs> you know, yeah, other than us just, you know, almost all dying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, that's good at least. Indeed it we were. They destroyed that Styler. A non-portable Styler, I guess you could say. Like no one has ever destroyed a Styler before. To the Ranger base. Yeah. Woohoo! And we get to get a little bit of backstory here. Look who's meeting up with who! Yep, Hastings plus Gordor. So, we're here we go. We're young, we work side by side on our studies, you and I. We are comrades in arms. And of course he does the laugh as usual. <laughs> comrades in arms, keep your sappy sentimentality out of this. Because of you, my research was always considered second-rate. In time, you became the Chief of Technology for the Ranger Union, even while the results of my studies went without ever seeing the light of day. I prepared. I prepared over many long years in hopes of one day proving to the world that I was the better of us. But my dream was just that. A dream. A dream broken by your cherished Rangers. Hastings, laugh if you want. Laugh all you want at me. Always the pathetic loser to you. Gordor, let's just fold up the Gorok squad and shoot your followers away. And come and join me in our lab. Your gifted abilities are sure to be a benefit to people. That is true. But will he? Hey, Sings, do you seriously think I could do that? You haven't changed much at all. And he's gone. Gordor, what do you intend to do? There will always be a place for you in our lab. So they knew each other, and... Gordor was jealous that his inventions were tops and tried to up them with the Super Styler and well the Super Styler not really good for the Pokemon nor were the other Stylers he completed but his technology could have been used but he doesn't want to he doesn't doesn't think he can atone for his sins I guess you could say but yep his Stylers came out in the end as tops in the land Woo! Happy days! Yeah, I kind of- Ooh, food. Do you have some delicious kibble? Well, at least that's, the, that's what I'm seeing them saying. <laughs> they are? I, I, I can't tell any difference with my sprites, but okay. <laughs> All is well. Mm, well, hmm. Really? Huh. Hmm, I couldn't tell with the sprites, as I said. <laughs> <laughs> but I suppose we have come a long way as rangers, especially with this final mission clear. To the ranger base! But not yet. <laughs> There's peeps waiting out here with title screen victory music. Heck yeah, and this is clicking through all on its own, so I don't have to click on anything. Heck yeah, number two. <laughs> so, 
What do you think of Pokemon Ranger, guys? Think it's a game that kind of beats what reviewers are saying about it being shallow? I think it did. <laughs> I mean, there's, as you can tell, there's quite a lot to the strategy of quite a lot of the circly circles, that it's definitely more than just circly circles. So, yeah, I was hoping to show that in this series and uh, emulator providing, like, if it actually works, perhaps I'll be able to do the other two games in the series as well uh, in the future, but, you know, I'll have to test out that bad boy and, and whatnot. So, we shall see. We shall see. Plus, you know, it'll, it'll take planning like all other walkthroughs do and whatnot. So for now, all I can say is this. Here are the credits. The people who made the game. I did not make it. I just made the walkthrough to help and entertain people. And hopefully show games like this in a different light that people might otherwise overlook by people writing them off a little bit too quickly with their styluses or styli, whatever the plural is for stylus, yes. <laughs> But yeah, I, I still gotta go back to other areas. There's a bunch of post-game stuff to do. Uh, there's still those challenges at three separate parts of the world, like in those three cities. Um, spring, summer, and fall, you know? <laughs> um, oh, no! <laughs> bad, bad. Oh yeah, you can also play around with the credits here with your stylus. But of course, it doesn't work on the top screen. I forgot to mention that. Dang you, FF Split, for tapping you. Okay, that was my own fault, I admit. But still, but still. <laughs> um... Yeah, post-game stuff, as I was saying. Uh, there's also the Pokémon that I gotta capture, like, say, in that area that you just seen there with the... The tree marking the middle of the pathway between summer, I mean, uh, Fall City and Springtown. Um, there was the thing of those bushes that I couldn't cut because I couldn't bring Pokemon out of their natural environment, yada yada yada. And there's also a lot of stuff like that throughout the rest of the area, so yeah, I gotta go back, collect some Pokemon. I don't know about doing it off camera though, because getting the remainders of the Pokemon is like a large puzzle in itself. And also, the Ranger Net has been added to the menu. Now, what is the Ranger Net? Well, there's special missions in there, like off the actual main game of this walkthrough here. So, I'll definitely do those as well. But for now, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I continue the walkthrough.